Well, it's been a while since I posted an update, so I thought I'd better do at least a little something here. Um, I've been, uh, had to go on a couple of trips, so it was at least, it's been about three weeks, I think, since I've worked on the, on the Land Cruiser. And uh, the topic for today is the recovering the front seat or reupholstering the front driver's seat. Um, if you remember one of the earlier videos, I had just brought, um, probably I think it was the last video, I just brought back the ones I'd, I'd bought at the salvage yard at Classic Cruisers. Uh, since then, I've uh, stripped the covers and the old foam off and uh, kind of restored the springs. It's a little hard to see, but they're all cleaned up. There were two bro broken springs. Those have been repaired. And then um, yesterday, we cut and fit um, the new foam for the seat top, seat bottom there. Um, the seat back, which is here, is in considerably better shape, so I don't think it's going to get new foam. I'm just going to leave the existing stuff. The springs I've checked, they're okay. And um, the next step here really is to make some new upholstery covers. I've taken the old beat up one here and, and sort of duct taped it all back together and then I'm going to cut it apart so we can use it for a pattern for a new one. Um, there's some upholstery in the basement that we got yesterday, a few days ago. And um, the plan, the next steps really are to take this piece apart, use it to make some patterns, and then um, sew up a new one. Uh, this back, even though the seat back's in better shape, there is a cut and some um, some damage up here that needs to be taken care of. So also make a new one. That'll make sure everything fit or everything matches. And um, so there you go. I'm not an upholsterer, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. And here we are down in the basement. Um, I've taken the old seat cover apart, basically cut the cut the stitching off so that it's um, all in pieces now. And these are the two main pieces. You can see the old seat bottom and then a uh, kind of a skirt that goes all the way around it that forms the side front and uh, back. There's a back panel that's actually missing here, but that's not a big deal. Uh, what we did though is we used that and the foam that's out in the garage to make uh, patterns out of this inexpensive fabric here. And then um, I was able to convince my wife to help me with this because she's a lot better with sewing than I am. And uh, she made up a trial piece out of this um, piece of cloth here, out of this inexpensive cloth. And we fit it, uh, took it apart, made a small adjustment, and then um, decided that fit pretty good. Then we took it all apart again to use it as patterns for the material, for the actual seat upholstery. Here's the upholstery material, which we just got at Joanne Fabrics, and it's pretty close to the original. Um, has a, a good wear rating, has a good, what they call, cold crack rating, so that hopefully it won't crack in cold weather. And then my wife sewed this one, which is the real seat cover, the real upholstery. Um, again, we fit it um, yesterday and made a couple of minor adjustments and she's sewed it up again. And so this is um, what's going to go on the seat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut here and take it out to the garage and then I will fit it for you. Okay, we're back out in the garage. Here's the uh, seat bottom hardware um, with its new foam and then uh, little fabric or I don't know what this is called, uh, coat, uh, covering. Now we'll see how it fits. Alright, it looks pretty good. Um, the skirt's way too long. Um, the way this works though is uh, kind of, it's fixed on the bottom here by, by basically pulling it down. And so we've made this too long. 
So we can pull it nice and tight and then it gets fixed with screws right here. And, uh, and that should snug it right up. And then we'll trim it off. And there you go. I'll um, put these videos together and get them posted. Well, the seats are in the vehicle, so I'm going to shoot this short little video so you can have a look at them. Uh, the other thing that's done is the rust in the footwells has been repaired, and I've coated them with a truck bed liner that should help that rust from not coming back and make it so you can jump in here with muddy boots and that's okay. Let me walk over to the driver's side so you can have a look over there. Here's the driver's side, it's all new um, new upholstery over here. The other side is upholstery that, that's as it came, it didn't need to be redone. They aren't quite the same, but I think they're close enough that it's going to look okay. And then this footwell is also done. This one has a new panel that, there, that I did on an earlier video. And so there you go, you can sit in the vehicle again. It's been quite a while.